On TBC Breakfast, it's time now to look at uh, what the top stories are in the papers this Tuesday, beginning with the New Telegraph and uh, the lead story there is captioned, Renewed Hope, saying that anti-corruption fight will spare no one. That's according to the EFCC chair, um, Ola Olukuede, saying that uh, agency has arranged two former governors in two months who will go after mega thieves in a holistic manner and debunks reports that they target only internet fraud stars. Other stories read... Disquiet in varsities over absence of governing councils, ex-VC says it shows government's contempt for university education. Varsities operating ultra-virus against institutional norms, that's according to unions. Uni Laurie expels, rusticates 19 students for various offences. The study, uh, according to the New Telegraph, reveals that uh, field subsidy reforms of the government's major cause of core inflation in Nigeria. There's also another report uh, captioned Nigeria's oil revenue threatened as U.S. muzzles into OPEC. Concerns uh, still on New Telegraph over Nigeria's 97.34 trillion naira debt stock intensify and troops neutralize several terrorists in northwest that's according to the army frost news is next uh, efcc vows no mercy for mega or minor thieves in anti-graft war pdp labels rivers lawmakers illegal assembly dares them to impeach governor fubara jigawa governor announces one million naira subsidy for intending pilgrims this year FG allocates 25 billion naira to bolster healthcare services nationwide. And uh, following the release of First News editor Shegola Tunji, the paper secures insurance policy for editorial staff. Uh, down uh, there on First News, ex presidential aide Bugaje slams Tinubu's government, explains why Nigeria's oil belongs to the North. Another story there. Oyema hints on air peace commencing Abuja London route expansion to New York, Houston. Platform Times says Peter Obi threatens to abandon Labour Party amidst internal crisis. Right, police apprehend eight suspects in connection with Unimaid lecturer's murder. This is on Platform Times. Ondo residents attack loot truck laden with food items. A dope PDP chairman recounts traumatic experience in kidnappers' den. Fleeing residents send distress signals amid ongoing military operations in Delta. I'm not working for politicians, says Sunday Igboho, that's above the masthead on Platform Times. An abducted unknown gunman abduct 10 students in Delta. This Nigeria is next. Cook a false distribution of palliatives by states and lawmakers to current hardship. That's according to Governor Diri, who is uh, also wading into the matter. Troops neutralize terrorists in northwest region intercept illicit drugs in Ogun. Says Ami, suspected hurts men kidnap students in Delta State. Red Sea attacks Nigeria, other African countries to face higher inflation. But that's according to a report. Beyond London route, air peace to hit New York before the end of 2024. That's according to its uh, chief executive officer, Alan Oyema. Tension has renewed bloody cold war claims 13 lives in a number of states. Now to the blueprint. Blueprint says on Arawa think tank ahead of 2027, North desires infrastructure, education, not political power says that so far, Tinubu is committed to developing the region as people living with uh, disabilities rally support for the government. On inherited debts, that's talking about the feud uh, between Governor Ubasani and former Governor El Rufai. Well, the former governor's sons differ over their father's feud with, uh, go with the governor as one of them, Bello, interestingly counters... Bashir, who says social media attacks will never shake my boss. 
Recapitalization banks require 2.8 trillion naira, five others 901.8 billion naira. 13 killed, two injured in Kogi auto crash. Uni Lonry expelled six final year students, rusticate 13 others over misconduct. Finally, with me is Nigerian News Direct, leading with uh, this report on financial stability as CPPE gives nod to CBN's recapitalization plan. This in a bid to safeguard depositors' funds says inflationary challenges drive endorsement of bank recapitalization. Uh, and uh, there are a host of other riders regarding this uh, move by the uh, CBN on the latest recapitalization drive for the banks. Armed bandits intercept luxury bus rob passengers. That's also on Nigerian News Direct. Staff threatened to shut universities over five months, withheld salaries, and uh, an, an alleged threat plot. Oyetola's aide replies Omolo Abikokos insists allegation malicious. Oyema, the CEO of uh, Airpeace, cries out some Nigerians working to see a downfall. He also talks about challenges faced by the Airpeace London return flight. Well, these are the stories uh, that we see in the paper so far, Ibrahim. Right, Vanguard newspaper is the first with me with a uh, screaming headline. Banks need 4.7 trillion naira to scale CBN's new capital hurdle. No bank qualities under new uh, no bank rather qualifies under new guidelines. ETI, Zenith, Access First Bank, lead in eligible capital. And then Zenith Bank emerges Nigeria's best bank for fourth year. VP Shetima, CBN Governor Kadoso, Ayo Teriba, headline 2024 Vanguard Economic Summit. Labor crisis, Aburi, rejected Peter Obi's advice for all-inclusive convention. Obidati, spokesman. Energy crisis, more troubles for Jenkos as federal government increases gas price by 11%. Chairman Group Bika, uh, Chairman Group Bika over a court party's candidate. Okwama, how soldiers' villagers died. Eyewitness, says Bayosa militant leader, Amagbe, not from Okwama. Notes, leader from Okoloba, led the army to Okwama. Now, without salaries, will shut down varsities if, that's according to the not teaching staff, London made in flight, how we fought restriction of airpiece return flight to rejected part of MMIA. That's according to Onyema. And 2024 Olympics, only two Nigerians capable of winning medals, says Igali. Next is the business AM. CBN rate hike stirs fears of more pain for Nigerian SMEs. 2023 renewables use sets 2023 renewables use sets record travel vacation spend hits 4.4 uh, trillion dollars in 5 years the market and assets during inflation and uh, finance, finance and investments you read on access holdings of the blocks for capital uh, that's about it for the business am next is daily independent naira gained 660 on $7 billion FX backlog clearance, BDC's return. Kaduna crisis, suspended APC woman, uh, woman leader, berates governor, reviews how RFI made him senator, as Senator Shehu Sani thanks Providence for vindicating him. Nigeria, among 16 countries with high anemia rates in girls, as according to UNICEF. Tinubu attends swearing-in ceremony of Senegal's president-elect, FAI. Global Finance Awards 2024, Zenith Bank, Zenith Bank emerges Nigeria's best bank for the fourth year. How gunmen set ablaze a Fesinachi buzz with 59 passengers. Transporters send SOS to federal government. Now, PDP North Central moves to replace Ayu Damagum with substantive chair. Insist on serving out its term in office. On the bottom strip, OB takes one Nigerian message to Onicha Mosque on Easter Day. Kogi Goba, uh, confusion at tribunals, uh, tribunal as more SDP witnesses disown depositions. 
Railway Corporation generated 1.07 billion naira from passengers in fourth quarter of 2023, as according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Next is Daily Times. How we are lobbying federal government to secure release of Kanu, as according to Kalu, urges support for Tinubu, says it means well for Ndigbo. Our anti-corruption fight will spare no one. EFCC boss cautions youths against indulging in internet-related offenses. Troops neutralize several terrorists in Northwest, intercept illicit drugs in Ogun. That's according to the Army. Palliatives not solution to current hardship, says Diri. Kogipo, confusion. A tribunal, uh, sit, uh, a tribunal sitting as witnesses disown the positions. Banks are in good stead to meet recapitalization targets. That's according to ACAMB. Electricity consumers increased to 12.12 million in fourth quarter of 2023. That's according to NBS. Next is Daily Trust. Petrol subsidy removal 10 months after federal government yet to roll out electric vehicles. Energy crisis threatens project charging stations inadequate in states. Experts task government on infrastructure. 13 killed, 2 injured in Kogi auto crash. Mega looters won't go scot-free. That's according to the EFCC. Bandits abduct 5-day-old baby, mother in Kaduna. And uh, war on Gaza. Anti-Netanyahu protests, ro uh, protests rock Israel. Netherlands topped Nigeria's export destination in fourth quarter of 2023. Wiki Damagum's fate uncertain as PDP holds neck. Eight arrested as Unimed lecturer stabs or stabbed to death in office. Next is the Punch newspaper. Discos make one trillion naira amid great crisis. Unmetered customers hate 5.8 million. Discos grew revenue by 30% in 2023. Overbuilt customers despite great collapses. Electricity tariff hike looms as federal government raises gas price. Tinobu, African leaders, Grace Senegal, President soaring in today. OPEC oil output plunges, uh, plunges as Nigeria, Iraq, slash exports. NEC sits over state, or state police as governors plan forest guards. Easter, fund seekers flood parks, beaches amid tough times. President not uh, President, uh, presidential nod, Ondo APC, Governor, aspirants besiege Abuja for Tinubu's endorsement. Police go after hoodlums for raiding night bus, robbing passengers. That's about it for the Punch newspaper. Next is Leadership newspaper. Ambassadorial list. Experts raise concern over delayed posting. It's dangerous to leave foreign missions vacant, ex envoys. Uh, say delay affecting foreign investment natural interest, uh, national interest. Next is electricity tariff may rise as federal government raises gas price for Genco's. Fraudsters now exploit, uh, now exploit QR codes, NITDA warns. FRSC orders probe as 13 die in Kogi multiple crash. We are awaiting report on looting of Kebi palliatives. Please. Low crude outputs. Nigeria losing oil buyers to U.S. And Tinubu to attend inauguration of Senegal's president-elect. Salient time is last but not least. Uh, uh, pastor, okay, passengers travel via rail system declined by minus 49.73% uh, in fourth quarter of 2023. That's according to NBS. This uh, discourse generated... 294.9 billion naira in fourth quarter of 2023. Pastor Toby Adigboiga breaks silence on allegation of sleeping with Super Eagles player Olani Waju Kayode's wife. Oshimbajo gets surprise birthday, uh, birthday threat at Herbert Wigwe inspired lecture series. A dope PDP chairman recounts ordeal in the kidnappers den. How Erofi lobbied to replace Sheo Sunni with Governor Uba in ninth Senate, suspended women leader. Eastern Ramadan. Oluwo distributes foodstuffs to widows, aged, others. 
Now, 16 of 26 power plants record 37% capacity amid incessant grid collapses. And then, 15-year-old girl electrocuted in Ogo. No need to panic. Banks tell Nigerians on recapitalization. That's about it for uh, the newspapers. I, I believe Nigerians are up to date this morning. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, talking about the recapitalization, that will also form part of our discussion this morning. We get to talk.